Hi, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Today's topic is about pre-diabetic blood sugar levels. And I've got some good news and some bad news. And the bad news is that there's over 30 million Americans who are diabetic, which is roughly 10% of the population. And it's the seventh leading cause of death in America. And it's also known to be the catalyst to most other health problems, such as heart disease, you know, inflammation, arthritis, wrinkling, hair loss, gaining weight, and high blood pressure, just to name a few. And the worst news of all is that almost 90 million Americans, which is a third of the population, age 20 and older, have pre-diabetes, and it's growing by 2% every year. Oh, and the scary part is that 83% don't even know it, and it goes undiagnosed, which means it can quickly and permanently lead to type 2 diabetes. And the good news is that almost all of this can be prevented and even reversed, and I'll get to this in a minute. However, let's first get some of the basic facts out of the way so you can make an informed and educated decision about your health. So one question is, what is pre-diabetic blood sugar levels? And if you're suffering from pre-diabetes, means that your glucose levels are higher than the safe limits, but lower than those seen in actual diabetes. And a healthy body basically produces insulin to control blood sugar levels. In pre-diabetes, the body just doesn't respond to insulin in the way it should. And this is called insulin insensitivity, or it doesn't produce the right amount of insulin. So you know you're pre-diabetic when your fasting glucose blood tests are over 126 milligrams per deciliter and when your hemoglobin A1C levels are between 5.7% and 6.5%. And this is all done with a simple blood test at your doctor's office. Another question is, you know, what does it mean if you're suffering from pre-diabetes? And pre-diabetes will almost always develop into type 2 diabetes if it's left unchecked. So it's safe to say that it's basically a wake-up call or more of a warning or a prediction for your future health. More importantly, if you suffer from high blood sugar, then you're at risk for developing you know, other conditions such as obesity, you know, high cholesterol and triglycerides, high blood pressure, and inflammation leading to accelerated aging. Now, another question is, you know, is pre-diabetic blood sugar levels, is it reversible? And the answer and the good news is yes. Pre-diabetes can certainly be reversed and you can stop it from ever turning into diabetes, and I'll show you how in a minute. Now remember, over 80% of pre-diabetics do not even know it, and it's left undiagnosed. So you're in control, and there are simple solutions. You just need to take some action. Now, as stressful as it can be to you know discover or find out that you're suffering from this condition, you must know that you're one of the lucky few, and you actually have a chance to become healthy again. However, as with any condition, Time is of the essence, so if you're suffering from prediabetes, just make sure that you're taking the proper steps to stay healthy. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get down to you know how you can fix this and get healthy again. Now, with some minor lifestyle changes, you can see and feel big improvements quickly. And here's some things you should focus on. The first is you want to lose unwanted fat. Now, this may not be fun initially, but it's very important, and it's the first step and keeping your glucose in check. And the way to do this is, first of all, you need to just eat better. You know, eat natural foods. And this means low glycemic foods, less carbohydrates, you know, healthy proteins and fats. It also means to stay away from processed man-made foods. Also, make sure you eat often, right? Smaller meals throughout the day to help stabilize your blood sugar and have lots of fiber as well. Another thing you want to do is you want to exercise daily, both aerobic and anaerobic. Basically, exercise utilizes the carbohydrates that you eat, so it keeps your blood sugar stable. Having more muscle also improves insulin sensitivity, which means less insulin is needed. And finally, you want proper supplementation because there are specific natural herbs, vitamins, and minerals that can help stabilize your blood sugar while also improving your insulin sensitivity. Now, clinical studies have shown that people who are diabetic or pre-diabetic are actually lacking in certain nutrients and taking these correct supplements can quickly help fix this and get you faster results. So simply making some small adjustments in each of these categories will mean fast results for you. Now, this was a short introduction to this topic and as to what you should do next, I honestly believe that managing your blood sugar is probably one of the most important aspects to health, longevity, and disease prevention. Unfortunately, it can sometimes get confusing 
where you might feel overwhelmed with just too much information as to what you should do or not to do. And because this is such an important topic, I've created a special page to help give you proven solutions and options and to help eliminate the confusion so you can prevent and help reverse diabetes. So thanks for listening. Go ahead and click on the button over here on this page that says, you know, click here to continue and get access to this vital information so you can make an informed decision. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.